God, that we may be made worthy of the promises of Christ. Let us pray. Pour forth, we beseech thee, O Lord, thy grace into our hearts, that we to whom... Sponsorship for this program provided by the Ed and Don DeCarbo Funeral Home and Crematory Incorporated with two locations, 941 South Mill Street, Newcastle, and 3000 Wilmington Road, Neshanic Township. St. Michael the Archangel, defend us in battle. Be our protection against the wickedness and snares of the devil. May God rebuke him, we humbly pray. And do thou, O Prince of the Heavenly Hosts, by the power of God, thrust into hell Satan and all the evil spirits who prowl the world seeking the ruinous souls. Amen. For our opening hymn, please join in singing number 479 in the hymnal, Lord, who throughout these 40 days, number 479. 479. <clears throat> Lord, who throughout these forty days for us did fast and pray, teach us to overcome our sins and close by you to stay. As you with Satan did contend and did the victory win, O oh, give us strength in you to fight, in you to conquer sin. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with you all. As we enter into these Lenten mysteries, let us call to mind our sins, asking God's pardon and forgiveness. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and what I have failed to do. Through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault, therefore I ask the Blessed Mary ever Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord have, Lord, have mercy. Let us pray. Look upon your family, Lord, that through the chastising effects of bodily discipline, our minds may be radiant in your presence with the strength of our yearning for you. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the book of the prophet Isaiah. Thus says the Lord, just as from the heavens the rain and snow come down, and do not return there till they have watered the earth, making it fertile and fruitful, giving seed to the one who sows and bread to the one who eats. So shall my word be that goes forth from my mouth. It shall not return to me void, but shall do my will, achieving the end for which I sent it. The word of the Lord. From all their distress, God rescues the just. From all their distress, God rescues the just. Glorify the Lord with me. Let us together extol his name. 
I sought the Lord, and he answered me and delivered me from all my fears. From all their distress, God rescues the just. Look to him that you may be radiant with joy, and your faces may not blush with shame. When the poor one called out, the Lord heard, and from all his distress, he saved him. From all their distress, God rescues the just. The Lord has eyes for the just and ears for their cry. The Lord confronts the evildoers to destroy remembrance of them from the earth. From all their distress, God rescues the just. When the just cry out, the Lord hears them, and from all their distress, he rescues them. The Lord is close to the brokenhearted, and those who are crushed in spirit, he saves. From all their distress, God rescues the just. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. May the Lord open our minds, understand his words, so this may proclaim it, our hearts, that we might live it. Jesus said to his disciples, in praying, do not babble like the pagans who think that they will be heard because of their many words. Do not be like them. Your father knows what you need before you ask him. This is how you are to pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. If you forgive men their transgressions, your heavenly Father will forgive you. But if you do not forgive men, neither will your Father forgive your transgressions. The Gospel of the Lord. This is my first time preaching in this church, so I feel very high up. <laughs> um, so last year was my parents' 50th wedding anniversary. They celebrated it in June last year. And when my sisters and I asked my parents what they would like for their you know, big event, their 50th wedding anniversary, my mother responded in a way that she has responded many times over the years, whether it was we were asking her for her birthday, what she wanted for her birthday, what she wanted for Mother's Day, what do you want for Christmas. It almost has become kind of a joke in our family. Her answer is, is quite often, I just want everyone to be together. <laughs> I just want all of the family together. I want you to be here. And um, we would poke fun at her at times about this, this answer. And it could sometimes make it difficult to try to figure out, you know, I still want to get her a gift. I want to get her something. But she just, she just wants us to be together. <laughs> so, um, but, but that's what she wanted. And uh, she didn't want anything, anything, she didn't want us to have to work too hard. She didn't want any night out at a special restaurant. She didn't want any um, gift cards or some date night with her and my dad. She wanted us, her children, and now her grandchildren, and her son-in-law. She wanted all of us to be there. And uh, that, that, um, 
that commonality in the way that my mother would respond uh, came to my mind as I was praying over the readings today. When Jesus said to his disciples in teaching them and teaching us how to pray, he says, in praying, do not babble like the pagans. Jesus wasn't very worried about being politically correct here, was he? <laughs> he, he said, do not babble like the pagans who think that they will be heard because of their many words. Do not be like them. Your father knows what you need before you ask him. Jesus is sharing with us that when we pray, he wants simply us. He doesn't want us to knock ourselves out with all kinds of words, fancy, clever words that we might think that we have to say to him. Or if we shouldn't have to work too hard to think of what our needs are. God in heaven knows what our needs are more than we know ourselves. When we pray, no, God just wants us. And if we are to boil down what the Our Father is really about, yes, there are seven specific petitions in the Our Father. We can uh, go through if I were giving a longer reflection, which Father Mac doesn't want me to do. <laughs> um, but maybe Father Ben can give it on another day. Um, we could dig in more and unpack more of what the Our Father means. There's all kinds of things that have been written about it. But when we boil it down, I think it is summed up perfectly. And um, if you really listen throughout the Mass, everything ties together. And this goes for Masses throughout the year. And the Collect today, if you were listening, the words that Father Mac prayed, Look upon your family, Lord, that through the chastening effects of bodily discipline, our minds may be radiant in your presence with the strength of our yearning for you. Pope Benedict XVI and others have said that prayer is nothing other than a longing for our God. More than anything, God wants us. And he wants us to want him. And so Jesus taught us this prayer to teach us how to want God above everything else. More than even our own particular wants, before those come in, the prayer reminds us that God is our Father and we are his family. Just like my mother wanted all of the family around her for special occasions, our father wants us as his family to come around him and to speak to him with um, the technical phrase in theology is filial boldness. It just means in the mass when we say we dare to say, we dare to speak to God as our father, as a member of our family because he has adopted us as one of his own. He wants us to come to him boldly and bring all of ourselves and put him before everything else in our lives. There was a moment in mass, oh, a few years ago, it might have been my first year in seminary, when this reality of the power of the Our Father to unite us around our father as his family. This reality was brought home to me. I was visiting my home parish in Glenshaw, Pennsylvania, a little bit north of Pittsburgh, and I believe I was serving at Mass, and it was a, either a weekend off or something home from the seminary, and I remember being up by the altar, and when it came to time to pray the Lord's Prayer in the Mass, I closed my eyes, and as we were all praying together and as I was hearing the voices of everyone in the church praying with me, I received a, an image in my head of not only all of us here in the church praying, but our family in heaven, the saints and the angels and those who have gone before us praying with us. And that's what the Our Father is to me, and I think what God wants the Our Father to be for all of us. A moment where we are united 
with each other here and with our family in heaven so that we can deepen our desire for God, for his kingdom, for his will to be done in all things, deepen our desire for his daily bread, and for his strength in every situation in our lives. So today, I would just encourage you as we pray the Our Father during Mass, maybe close your eyes, maybe think about that, connect with the words that we pray. It's very easy maybe for this prayer, even more than most others, for this prayer to become rote. But this is, as saints have called it, the perfect prayer. This is the prayer, these are the words that our Lord himself gave us to pray. And there's a reason for that. So let's really focus on those words in today's Mass so that we may be united ever more closely with each other as our family, with our family in heaven, and above all, with our dad, our heavenly father. With sincere hearts, let us place before the Lord our cares and concerns. For members of the church throughout the world, may the outpouring of the Holy Spirit sanctify each one of us in our daily lives. Let us pray to the Lord. For national and civic leaders, may the Holy Spirit empower them in serving their people as Christ came to serve. Let us pray to the Lord. For the poor, may God save them from their distress and provide for their every need. Let us pray to the Lord. For this worship community, May the Eucharist strengthen us as we work to build God's kingdom on earth. Let us pray to the Lord. For all who have died, may God soon welcome them into the eternal kingdom of heaven. Let us pray to the Lord. For Rose Marie Bellano, whom this Mass is offered, let us pray to the Lord. For your own special intention, let us pray to the Lord. Now let us pray our parish prayer found on the back cover of the hymnal. Lord Jesus, you told us where your treasure is, there your heart is also. The parish of Holy Spirit treasures our faith in you, our children, and every person who gathers here. Help us to have the courage to sacrifice, to love, and to build in your name. Guide us by your spirit of wisdom, give success to the work of our hands, and keep us in your peace. Saints, martyrs, and Mary, our mother, pray for us.
Pray, my sisters and brothers, that we ourselves in these gifts we offer be acceptable to God, our Almighty Father. Receive, O Creator, Almighty God, what we bring from your boundly, bountiful goodness, and be pleased to transform this temporal substance you have given us, that it may bring us eternal life through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. With Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty, Eternal God, for you have given your children a sacred time for the renewing and purifying of their hearts, that freed from disordered affections, they may so deal with the things of this passing world as to hold rather to the things that are eternally enduring. And so with all the angels and saints, we praise you as with one voice we acclaim. Holy, 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 Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the font of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your spirit upon them like the dewfall that they may become for us the body and blood of your beloved Son, Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and willingly entered into his passion, he took bread and gave you thanks. He broke the bread, gave it to his disciples, and said, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. Save us, Savior of the world, for by your cross and resurrection you have set us free. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Lord, remember your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis, our Pope, David, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, Saint Joseph, your apostles and martyrs, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, with him, in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. We dare to pray in the words of our Savior, our Father, who art in heaven, Hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant us peace in our day, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress. 
as we await the blessed hope and coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, I leave you peace, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the risen Christ be with you all. We share a sign of his peace. Peace with you. Lamb of God, Jesus Christ, Son, by the word of Father, Holy Spirit, death, life, the world, body, blood, sins, from you. Jesus Christ, Son, by the word of Father, Holy Spirit, death, life, the world, body, blood, sins, from every evil, faithful to your teaching, and never let me be departed from you. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the Supper of the Lamb. In the body and blood of Christ, bring us to everlasting life.
When I call the God of justice, give answer to me. From anguish you have released me. Have mercy, O Lord, and hear my prayer. Let us pray. Grant us through these mysteries, Lord, that by moderating earthly desires, we may learn to love the things of heaven through Christ our Lord. I don't, I don't believe our seminarian Dan knows this, but years ago there was a Bible written by the laity, and they translated the, the Bible according from their perspective. And this particular gospel pericope, it begins by saying, do not babble on in your homilies. <laughs> I have taken that to heart. Bow your heads and pray for God's blessing. May there your faithful be strengthened, O God, by your blessings. In grief may you be their consolation. In tribulation, their power to endure, and in peril, their protection. The Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. But Dan does do a good job, doesn't he? We should thank him for his. The Mass is ended. Let us go in peace and joy. For our closing hymn, we will sing once again number four. Seven.